Okie dokie. Let's -a go. What's up, guys? It is me and yours truly, Brandon Murphy. And you folks also may know me from my Twitch channel um, under Brandon D. Yellow Koopa. Remember it, folks, so you have to at some point, some which. Excuse me. Some way. And of course, both somehow. And they both they want. I'm making a. I'm making a review video of me watching so many things to talk about. For instance, um. I guess all, all along, and while well, you folks may have heard reviews and discussions about Agatha all along from new rock stars and whatnot, this is my version of this is my version, folks, of me reviewing um me reviewing not just Agatha all along but also season two of Agent Carter so with that being said I got my suit on and everything and I am ready to discuss them discuss them all so after me seeing the after me seeing the ending of Agatha all along and I know what everybody's gonna probably wonder um Will we be able to get a story on on Billy and um on and also if we are going to have um, if we are going to be planning to get a story based on Billy, uh, Right. So, and once again, and for the final time, I know what everybody's gonna probably ask: Are we ri when a are we gonna be able to have a story that talks about Billy Maximoff and, of course, Agatha go after Billy Maximoff's brother and search for him? Well, we won't know that yet until we get a second season. But there could be. And if Billy Maximoff and this is just my this is just my thought, folks, but as well as maybe your guys' thoughts as well. That you folks are probably gonna ask, and that is if Billy happens to see the newer edition of the Avengers will he help out take out Doctor Doom or will he help take out uh, Craven no not Craven what's his name um, Krang or King the Conqueror well again we don't we won't know that till 2025, or hell, maybe even 2026 for what not and which. Okay, cause as of as of this as this year's coming to an end. Um, plus we got Thanksgiving and Christmas coming around. Um, what I could say is that we 
might be getting, according to Kevin Feig and many other Marvel a-holes out there, um, we might be getting uh, Daredevil and so on and so forth, but we that won't be till like way, way after we get other movies and series is out of the way first. But I'd be glad to see I would be happy to see if Wiccan, aka Billy Maximoff, um go head to head on something, um if he was uh part a member of the Avengers. Um now uh, as for what I've seen from uh, Agent Carter Season 2, folks, tremendous and outstanding work, by the way, to Marvel, of course. Um, from what I've just seen in the post credit, and not to spoil much, but we've seen uh, Jack Thompson uh, just about to head out to head on back to New York, but, no, it wasn't New York, it was Los Angeles or whatever, but, anyways, my point is, he was about to head back, when all of a sudden, he gets a, shh, silence, uh, shot to the chest, and, from what I've seen, and not to spoil too much, it looked like someone was dressed up in a uh, coat. Um, not to mention someone that is wearing gloves. That has gotten pretty much me and those out there that have seen Agent Carter Season 2 puzzled and curious. Who could that mysterious person in the coat and the gloves be? My my guess, folks, is it could be Samuel Jackson returning as uh, Nick Fury after the Secret Invasion, which I haven't seen yet. So no spoils. Don't even put in the comments to spoil me uh, what happened in Scott. I mean... Secret Invasion because I haven't seen it. Um, or it could be another... Uh, it could be another Soviet gang. Probably going after uh, Agent Carter because we have seen um, in the first season that... Uh, that... Um, the guy that was hypnotizing or manipulating people's thoughts and brain sockets um, wasn't be able wasn't able to talk, but oh no, who did we saw at the end of the post credit scene of Agent Carter season one? Well, it was none other than Baron Zola, that was from the first and second. Uh, Captain America movies, but the difference is between the Zola from the first Captain America and the second one is Baron Zola was real. And he was still alive before that accident happened in Soviet Russia or Germany. Wow, uh, in the second movie of Captain America, Baron, Z Baron Zola was only a artificial intelligence, or for short, we, people just call him an AI. Kind of like, um, if you folks played Mar played, um, Danganronpa games, we all know what AIs are. Right? Like, let's take, for example, Alter Ego to Hero Vizizaki. 
who who folk whom folks is my sweetie pie honey bun and bb geeks we also seen uh Mondo Wada being an ultimate I mean being an alter ego and in Danganronpa V3 even Gonta had a artificial intelligence or an alter ego so I folks just like artists and most other people out there uh that is waiting for season three I too can't wait for Agent Carter to come back as a triple agent, or hell, maybe she'll become the new Captain America, who, well, okay, let me, let me rephrase myself and shush for a moment. Okay, what I meant to say is, she could be, Agent Carter could be a triple agent, or she could be Captain British. Since um, we've seen in season one, Agent Carter could have kept that Steve Rogers DNA and formula just so that she can transform into a new superhero. But she's like, nah, I'm going to toss it over the bridge and whatnot. So now, so... Yeah, um, obviously that's pretty much all I want to discuss about, um, I'm looking forward though, I'm looking forward though, I'm looking forward though folks to see what's going to happen in, uh, the next season of Agent Carter, but as well as Agatha all along. Hopefully in 2025 or maybe 2026. Who knows? Um, but for now, folks, uh, this is pretty much all I could cover and um, review. And if you like this video, then you all know the drill. Hit that uh, subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up button. And as usual and always, Keep comments clean and don't even talk shit or rumors about me and whatnot. And we should be good. Okay? Otherwise, if we if I do happen to see some comments about me or even rumors about me, I'll just delete them and delete this video. Since there's some of you people out there that still talk shit and rumors about me. Alright? Um... Oh, um, and I know this is not part of the video, but, uh, I just want to give people a little quick reminder that I will be streaming later today, uh, for some Metal Gear. No, I'm sorry, never phrase that. I'll be doing some, I'll be streaming some Saw Snake for Metal Gear, huh? As well as me streaming some... Uh, as well as me streaming Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2, take a coffee break and whatnot, and the usual and always, me, uh, me go and get a coffee break and whatnot. Then I'll come back and place I me mean, stream some Rogue Legacy 2. And then Team Fortress 2 afterwards. And maybe Vulgar the Viking 2 is see how it see how good that game is. Alright. But uh until then folks, this is yours truly Brennan Murphy here on YouTube and on Twitch. Which hopefully I'll see you guys there. I I am Brandon the Yellow Koopa from Twitch, saying to you all goodbye. A Vita scene, fun swell, sayonara. And as the band Puya say from their hit single song, say and go. Keep it simple. Alright. And I'm out. Goodbye guys.